Hey guys, welcome back to another chamber guide. It's been quite some time since our last video on him, so with all the new changes, I think this warrants a revisit at uh, all of my past uh, tutorials, as a lot of the same setups as before will not work anymore. Now, before we get started, let me reiterate your, jo your job as chamber. Your job as chamber is to take space for your team. Essentially, to get, for example, uh, early on, you will either pick out showers, short, or long. Take long angle fights and get information and maybe a pick for your team. So, why is this important? This is important because two of your th four abilities are guns. Guns don't help your team win the game, they just help you shoot them. So, it's not really any utility that you can use to stop a push, get information, or to delay a push, right? And your trip it's only information based like it doesn't really stop a push or anything so in order for them to not simply explode on site which is very common in lower elo where you can't deal with it when enemy just smokes and runs on site in order to stop that you peek in off angles aggressively early on you get a pick you tp away and then now their push is completely crippled because maybe their entry is dead maybe their flash is dead maybe their smokes is dead now their ability to just simply dash on site is much less that's the key idea. So usually for A setup, I would have my TP here and I'll have my trip here. This is my go-to pistol round setup. Because, um, so I'll peak showers like this. Uh, do keep in mind that by the time you get to here, usually you will be able to see them they're wide swinging you. And usually when they're going showers, if they're not throwing down utility of some kind, they will wide swing you. So do be prepared to take a fight at this position. So what I will do is I'll hold at wide. You see how wide I'm holding? Because people only wide swing this angle. And they will hold wide and I'll come to here and get ready for a fight. If there's no one here, I'll swing all the way out here. But n no further than this, because if you swing any further, you're exposed to three angles. You're gonna be here, here, or back there. And now that's kind of difficult to pre-aim as their head level may be different. And you know, it's just in general, for example, hold this. If he's up here, you're just gonna get wide swing and you're gonna die. So I would come up to here, I'll hold this for a while, I'll scope in like this, and go for a reaction shot, and TP away if I miss. Now, the important part is to swing this early on, unless they have some sort of utility. Um, if they have utility, if you start throwing utility, I don't even recommend swinging it, because just because if you turn around and shoot a dart and you come back, most likely there's going to be two of them looking at you, right? So what if you... Don't swing this right off the bat. You let them walk up here. Th there's going to be two different headshot angles, which are going to be, which is going to be a pretty difficult fight. It's not unwinnable. I win them most of the time. That's why I still swing this, but it will be much more difficult. So it will be arguably better if you start fighting this guy here because the difference between this and this is much less than this distance between this and this, right? So when you get it here, um, the headshot levels is almost identical. So you can just aim at the same spot and slightly flick up or down to adjust for his head. Now, if they're using heavy utility like Silvadar, Skydog, Skyflash to clear you out, the alternative setup you can do is put a trip here and put a TP right here. Now, note that you're not putting it too close. If they have a brim ult, you want to put it further away as well, so that if they brim ult you, you don't just die here. Right? This is better with an op. Usually, I'll op here. Um, this is an alternative to peeking showers. If I have an op, I'll hold back here. If I have a rifle, I'll hold a little bit closer because it makes my swings a little bit faster. And realistically speaking, you're only going for like one burst and one fight only. So if you miss the burst, you kind of waste your opportunity. So I really want to get close so then I have a much easier time to find this almost guaranteed headshot if he's just walking here. Now, the strength of this is that people don't expect you to play here when you first... Um, when, when, when you first play here for a couple of times. This is why you should alternate between the showers play and this, because you really want to dry swing people that are not expecting you to be there instead of swinging into people with utility or multiple people or something like that, right? The strength of this is that if they're not expecting you to be here, if you don't peek right off the bat, you give it a second, right? You give it three seconds-ish and you hear stuff, they're most likely going to be holding W moving forwards. The, it's m much more difficult to counter strafe while holding W and hit this shot than to swing out and hit this shot, right? And they're easy target when they're holding W because to you, they're basically stationary because they're not moving left or right. So to swing out here, all you got to do is just hit a headshot on a stationary target if he is there and then you TP away. 
this will completely cripple their short push and it's just super effective. Obviously with an op, um, you can just hold back here like this, a tight angle. Um, this is almost a guaranteed fight. I will choose this over showers because one, the the angle there, I mean, it's just more commonly visited, you know, like not a lot, sometimes teams don't go to showers or if they're losing showers, they simply just ignore showers. But if they want to come A, they're going to have to come short. And with an op, you really want to force a fight early on because your chances of winning an early fight is almost like 80, 90%. And this is a super easy shot to, to hit. You just take a shot here and you TP away. Or alternatively, you can also play um, up on top of here with a TP. Obviously, this is, in my opinion, not as good, although it's more less expected. But the issue is that you can get swing from left or right. If you know the team only, the enemy team only swings from one angle, then you can come up here and play it safely. But uh, otherwise, you might get swing by two people. Also, there's no anti-flash here, so you really like. Most teams in higher elo will flash short every time they go short, so it's not that good because you'll simply just miss out on the kill because they, I don't know, Reina blind or sky flashes you. But here, if they flash over to the left or f too far into the corner, you it will just basically be, be anti-flash for you. And you can, even if you are blind here, you turn away for a second and you can come back and still get this kill right here and TP away. Instead of up there, you have to TP right away because you have no cover. Now, please do keep in mind that if they are on the left here, you're extremely vulnerable. So if you do hear stuff and they're throwing utility and nothing is happening, or after like 10 seconds, nothing is happening, I recommend just TPing away and playing for the showers pick because they could walk up here and kill you. So if you play this a couple of times, it's very common for them to simply walk, hug the left side and walk up here and kill you. Obviously with a teammate, you can jump spot in you. That also works. Now, showers, af after you TP, you'll be in here. This is perfect to hold showers. You can call for like no smoke showers or something and it will almost guarantee you kill every single time. Because of how far away you are from the angle and if you're peeking this, right, you're super close to the angle, which means that m you being here is going to see the enemy first far before he sees you, give you like a super easy shot. Also, the strong strength about this is that if you do miss, you can just simply just take a shot, right? You can just walk away with almost no risk, and you can still rotate back to CT with full cover and everything. Now, for my B setup, it's also pretty simple. It follows the same principles. We take early fights at long ranges to cripple their push. So I'll push, place a TP right here in that corner, and I'll come out here. Now, you note that usually by the time you get out here, um, they will be able to see you already if they're full swaying. So I will usually call for Sky Flash Long for info and to blind them so I can get into this corner, which is more advantageous than being out in the middle of nowhere. But sometimes if you have been playing the corner too many times, they might start pre-firing that. So it's also good to just hold off angles. The strength of chamber is that you can hold a lot of really weird off angles in the middle of nowhere to catch one or two and then just simply TP away. Now that's pretty much all my setups on defense. Um, once they go, like if you do miss the shot and come back, there's a couple of spots you can play on the side as well. This is much more difficult because most teams will satchel in with a raise and you can't really counter that in other than hitting an absolutely insane shot, which most of the time won't happen. But you can try to hold this. This is super commonly pre-fired, so I actually wouldn't recommend it. It's all right if you don't check it, but if you do pre-fire it, you're just gonna die or lose a bunch of health for no reason. So another off angle you can hold is right here. So this is pretty much a one and done angle, so if you don't have a TP by this point, because you use that a lot, note that if you take a shot, most of the time you're going to die, because if you move towards the right, you're going to get wall bang, and there's no way you're crossing this whole gap without them killing you. But it's almost insured to get one kill, because from the attacker's perspective, right, you come in here, you check this, you check this, and then you got to start looking for the elbow player, and you got to start looking for Cubby. No one is going to be checking, like, kind of into the box like this, right? And most of the time, teams will go all the way out as well. So it is a super off angle that people don't check all the time, giving you a huge advantage if you're it, the if it's the first time they're using it. Um, obviously, if you are if site is smoked and you have TP, I will also recommend playing this spot. Same idea, right? So you see how they would clear sort of this area at this angle, so but you only see them when they come out to here, right? So 
when they're coming out to here, they also have to check many angles on site, and then you can take this advantage by simply taking the shot and TPing away. It's pretty strong as well. Um, that's pretty much it on defense, on offense. I would recommend placing TP here, trip, uh, sorry, placing the trip here, because this trip watches both sides. It's pretty much impossible to flank you as long as the trip is up. Obviously, if you're lurking showers, I would recommend coming here, and then I'll place the trip here, or something like that. Or maybe if you're only lurking, your team is going B, then I will hold on to the trip, and then after I lurk showers, if I'm not going on site, I'll come back and I'll place a late trip here. It wouldn't do too much, but you know it's better safe than sorry. The reason I put it here, uh, if we are going A, is because if I put it here, it won't activate when I'm lurking showers. So pretty much makes it useless, right? And if I, if I put it here, if they come flank, I don't even need to pick it up. It will still detect them if we're rushing A. I'll put my TP here, because this is as far as the barrier goes. And then I can swing showers like this. I usually would swing showers every single round, unless they are opping. If they're opping, don't swing this, because you're just basically feeding them, right? If you're opping, you really want to play for info, but not just opping in general. There's nothing really to do with how you as a chamber player should play. The reason I swing this, especially on pistols, is because I have an ADS, which gives me a lot easier time to hit the headshot at this range, and they can't really spray you down at this range either. Either way, it's just a pretty fair aim duel. I will almost pick this every single time, but most of the time, I'll ask for a teammate like a Sky or Silva to dart or flash to get some utility in so that it makes this fight very difficult for him. I'll come all the way out here, ADS like this, and then when I get it here, I usually hold for a second because usually sometimes people like to wait a second before they peek. So I'm just waiting for a late peek here. And if my teammate works all the way into this corner, and after he's flashes or dogs or whatever, he started walking up, I will start swinging and holding this angle for him because some people do like to jiggle this angle. Um, besides that, never go into shower with one person. Always go into shower with two people because it's super easy to die in showers and you really want something to get your trade. Okay, if you're only one, if you're the only one lurking showers, just peek this. And just be done with it, okay? Don't don't actually go inside it. Now, the reason that I will leave this trip here instead of giving it a second and placing a trip, for example, further up in this angle, is because this is safe on the TP. A lot of teams now, due to this TP rework, will burn smoke out long and they will use TP very quickly, and they'll flash you, they'll dock you, and they'll come out and shoot you. So in in case you do get flashed or they do rush you, you just TP away and you walk backwards. Even if you're full blind, you're able to manage that, and then you are pretty much safe right from this angle and you're able to take this fight and he will be stuck in TP and this will be a favorable fight for you. Now um, towards mid I'll actually save my TP here because there's no real point um, placing a TP here if they're nading every round just don't peek that early afterwards I will usually walk up with my team and then you will place a TP here or you can place a TP here or if you are able to make it on site, basically you want to make it as far as possible before you use your TP. And you can place your TP here, this is a pretty good spot. This way it allows you to plant the bomb, play on site, play in U-Haul, and still have a safe place to go. You don't want to place it too far back like these angles, if you can, if you can help it. Um, because these angles, like, it greatly limits how much you can play on site. But that's really it, like, there's not a lot you can do on chamber on attack. Um, for B, I'd like to place a TP here at the beginning of the round. If they are flashing or fighting out long, this way, if I do get flash and they do start rushing down, I can just TP away instead of getting shot. Um, which is fairly common. But if they're not contesting long, I'll come up here and I'll place a TP here. This TP allows me to gain sight, help my teammate clear most of sight. Right, where we will get into gunfights most of the time. Clear elbow, clear this area, and then it lets me also plant the bomb and quickly come back to play post plant. As post plant usually I play from long at this general location, so I don't have to pick up the TP. That's pretty much it. There's not a lot. Oh, if you're gonna go hookah, I will place my TP here, but not there. Actually, it depends. If they have rifle, I'll put it. I'll put it here. Cause, but if they have judge. I'll put it all the way back here. The difference between these two is that putting up here lets you have more room to work with. So you can clear kind of all the way up here and still be in the TP range. So if he's on the side and fighting, you can TP away if you need to. Um, 
But if they have Judge, if you put the TP here, if he here you TP, he might actually just run out chasing for the kill. Because he has a Judge, you almost have no chance of winning against this gunfight. But if they have Rifle, there's no way he's swinging out here like this, full running at you to kill you. Right? Nobody does that with a Rifle, because then it's just a 50-50 fight, and you're actually holding this angle. So you can go either way. I don't think people are that dumb or that brave to come out. That's pretty much it. Obviously, most of the map principles, like fast TP, fast rotations, all that still applies, but I won't cover that in this video because that's not chamber-specific.